Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and today we are going to learn an important topic called dependency injection. What is dependency injection? How, why is it important in Angular? And why is it important for us to understand the entire design technique? Let's get started. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar. I'm here to share my knowledge of 10 years as a full stack developer and I'm here also to learn from you all. During the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts during on the explanation or the code examples, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Please do like the videos and subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you in advance. Again, this is part of the Angular 9 full tutorial series where we have now more than 50 plus tutorials from basic introduction to detailed codec walkthrough. The playlist link is in the description box below. So make sure you check it out to learn and master Angular 9. We are continuing to learn with on Angular HTTP in this particular feature series. This is the second tutorial in that series. In the previous example, we learned about observables in Angular. Now today we learn about the concept of dependency injection. So what is dependency injection? Dependency injection is an important application design pattern. Now using dependency injection, it's an ability to add the functionality to components at runtime. In most uh, use cases, your components will require some kind of external dependent files, which is what we call it as services. So we will be able to add those services or dependencies at runtime. The dependency injection framework lets us supply data to a component from an injectable service class defined in its own file. So usually we'll create services which will be injected into the component at a runtime. Angular has its own dependency injection framework, which is typically used in the design of Angular applications to increase efficiency and modularity. Dependencies are services or objects that a class needs to perform its function. Dependency injection is a coding pattern in which a class asks for dependencies from external sources, then creating itself. So this is a high level explanation of what dependency injection is. Let me give you some detail about the use cases of how it works. So for that, I'm going to open some notes for you. So dependency injection. All right, so we know that DI is a mechanism is a design pattern pattern which is used for dynamically providing the dependencies dependencies okay now <clears throat> so these dependencies are nothing but uh, it's usually a service class a class which we call as services. Now, what are services? We'll cover it in next tutorial. But remember that services are reusable classes which can be shared between components. Now, remember that whenever we inject, right? So these services and dependencies are provided at runtime runtime now this helps in this helps in increasing the efficiency see of apps we will load services whatever is required for that for those components only so that way your it's easy to maintain easy to maintain and it's faster in performance so this is the de dependency thing so what what do we cover in dependencies 
right to be covered in dependencies so it's usually services that we create and inject inject into our components we will use a decorator called at the rate injectable injectable to let components know that this is a dependency right so we will learn about services in the next tutorial but understand the concept of dependency uh, injection because it's very important for you to know this when you start working with http and mostly with services that's when this is extremely important so this is a high level i wanted you to know the uh, mechanism and also to understand how angular works in terms of the services so whenever we talk about services it's always dependency injection that's the design pattern that angular uses in the next tutorial we will start focusing on creating some services that we can use in our application if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below i will be happy to answer them and help you don't miss the next tutorial that's very important which talks about services what are services how do we create them how do we use them how do we import them into components all of that we will cover in the next tutorial thank you so much for joining See you in the next episode.